All right, guys, we're gonna get started. Special Halloween edition. So I'm wearing the McFly costume. Get these glasses off. Here. <laughs> today, today, what we're gonna talk about, guys, is how to be the CEO of your business. We're gonna watch a few minutes of a video, and then we're gonna go into an actual example, and then you guys will spend the last half of the meeting um, working on the system that we want to implement. And so the whole point of what we're going to talk about today, guys, is how to create self accountability within your business, right? So that you're basically managing your own business. You're the CEO of your business. You're in charge of making sure things happen and making sure that you're hitting your goals. And so we got a new, um, very simple system that we're going to start implementing. And what I promise you guys is if you buy into this, it's very, very simple. You're going to see it's very, very simple but it's extremely, extremely powerful. If you buy into this, you will hit your numbers, guys. You will set yourself up in the highest possible way to hit your weekly goals, your monthly goals, and you will be able to dictate and control what's happening in your business. So um, let's go ahead and move over to... Bless you, sir. Bless you, sir. Does anybody know who Dan Martell is? Anybody follow him online? Okay, business guru, right here. Can you guys see this? We're not voting for Sam Licardo. That's not what this is about. We know. This isn't it, guys. This isn't it. It's everywhere. It's All right, whatever. Ads. No oh, thanks. Yeah.
Fred. Oh, we're going to stop right there. I think you guys get the gist. Yeah. Um, this is a really good video, guys. If any of you guys want to watch it, I'll put the link in Slack. But you can go deeper into this and really see um, how he implements his meetings. But essentially, this guy runs multiple uh, million-dollar companies. And what he runs them off of is spreadsheets where he just keeps people accountable to certain tasks basically throughout the week, right? So I'm going to show you how we're implementing this on a company level, and then I'm going to show you how you guys can implement this on an agent level. So what I did is, Jason and I, by the way, we're already doing different versions of this, but I like the way this guy's doing it because it's just all on one spreadsheet and it keeps it very, very simple. So what Jason and I are tracking is all the different, uh, let's see, different, oh, he's not joining. The different parts of our business is what we're tracking, guys. So let me show you what we're doing. Bear with me. Okay. Scorecard. Can you guys see this? Okay. Let me, uh, I'll make it bigger right now so you guys can see what we're tracking. Okay, so this scorecard right here is what Jason and I are using to track our multiple businesses and all the different parts in our business and the different departments in the business. Um, so let me go ahead and make this larger. This is called uh, this is called the company scorecard. Yeah. So this is basically a spreadsheet where we're able to self-report. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why we're going to self-report versus using some of the other tools that we already have. Um, the whole point of this spreadsheet, guys, is like follow-up boss. Follow-up boss has a cool system where it can track your stuff, right? Like if you're setting appointments in there, it can track your numbers, it can track your leads, all those different things. But what we're seeing, and maybe you guys can, you know, agree with me or disagree, is that it's easy to hide behind your numbers, right? It's easy to like, if no one's calling you out saying, hey, did you hit your appointment goal for the week? Or did you get the amount of deals in escrow? It's easy to say, hey, the information's in follow-up, boss, but if you're not going in there, taking that information, analyzing it, and then having to report it somewhere, it just gets lost in like, okay, the information's there, but I'm not really using it, right? And so we have like, we have CSU, 
we have like i'll just tell you on the company level we have follow-up boss that tracks all our leads and the, and the agent activity we have sisu that tracks all our transactions and stuff in the organization um we have our bookkeepers who track all our financials and stuff like that right so they look at our bank statements they give us these reports but what i have to do as the ceo right and you guys are all ceos of your own individual business is i have to take those reports and i have to actually look through them and see what they mean right and the the habit that you'll need to do to make sure that happens is have a place where i have to report that so i can take what follow-up boss tells me and then if i have to go enter it into a spreadsheet then that means i would have gone in there studied the information and now i'm putting it somewhere else right do you guys you guys follow me there yeah because the way, the way the way i look at it is like you may thought you're busy but then when you really pull it out you'll really see what activities you did yeah and what's actually happening on your business so i'm going to give you an example guys like i can go into follow-up boss right now this is going to be an agent thing so, but the, what he's showing you guys right now again what he's showing you right now is the way we're using it for our company for our yeah. different companies right and so what and while he's pulling this up what he's going to show you guys is how for you guys as an individual because you're a ceo of your own business of how you can use it and how we're going to implement that into our business right so just follow me you're getting yeah. getting ahead right i'm, I'm almost yeah. there um okay so i'm giving you an example right because I, I need to drive the examples home for you guys to see the value of this right so i can all of you guys can log into follow-up boss right and you can go to reporting and you can go to the agent leaderboard and you can see this month how many points you had right and you i can go in here let's say i'm mark and i'm like okay cool i had nineteen thousand nine hundred points great but is that good or bad? Right. Right. Mark, is that is 19,968 points for the month? Is that good or bad? Why don't you know? Okay, right. So the point I'm trying to make is like, yeah, we have this reporting, but Mark and going, oh yeah, I got 19,000 points. I'm almost 20,000. But if Mark's goal was 30,000, is that good or bad? Bad. If his goal was 18,000, is that good or bad? That's good. You see, so there has to be one extra step after this for us to determine if we're on track or if we're, we're off track, right? And so this right here is a tool that we're gonna use, but then now I need to take that information and I need to go compare that information to the goals that I set out for myself, right? Now, you guys as, as agents can also go into your appointments. And I can say like, I'm using Mark, I'm using you as an example, bro. Um, I can go Mark. So let's say I'm Mark and I'm going in here and I wanna see all my appointments for the month. And I can start counting these, right? Mark has a lot of appointments, just FYI. Let's say Mark has 40 appointments there. I don't know what the, what the number is. Um, is that good or bad? It's good. Why is it good? Huh? there's no goal right so the answer is we don't know right that's the answer it's the same answer as the last one right we don't know 40 appointments may sound like a lot but if mark has to hit 60 appointments a month to reach his goal of set met signed and in contract 40 is just a number right so that in his eyes oh it looks like i was busy but if i'm not comparing that to what the result i was trying to hit i will never know if it was good or not right so that's just another example uh, we can look at our dials. We can look at all these different things, but you have to be able to take that information and go analyze it and compare it. Right. And that's where the true accountability comes in. So you guys following me? Okay. So now I'm going to show you how Jason and I are using this. Um, and we've been, we've been using like a version of this for several months now. Um, and it basically, you can't hide behind the numbers, right. When it's done this way, right. Because you have to report. So Jason and I, just so you guys know, we meet every Wednesday. Uh, we meet for about an hour or two and we go over all our numbers for the past week we go over appointment set met deals how much profit we got all these different things all these different things that we measure recruiting our rev share um all these how many loans came in right our flip business right all these different things so we go over all we analyze our business and then from there we're able to make decisions on the business like hey we're kicking ass here Hey, right here, we suck right here because based off our goal, we're on track or off track. And then that's how we're able to tweak and monitor and see, okay, what stuff do we need got to focus on for the next week? What stuff do I maybe got to double down on? That's how we're able to make business decisions based off of data, right? And so some of the things we're tracking are like lead generation. 
this is the department that I'm owning, right? I'm in charge of making sure I have enough leads coming into the team. So the number I'm tracking is going to be how many leads are coming in total, right? So I'm going to go into follow up boss. I'm going to see how many leads came in for that week. And then I'm going to compare that to our goal for the month, right? Um, how many hand raisers? Now I'm going to break it down by lead source, right? How many um, hand raisers did our ISA bring in? How many of those were from Zillow? How many of those were from Spello? How many of those were from the pond? How many of those were agent generated leads that you guys entered into follow up boss? And then how many recruiting leads? Because we have ads running for recruiting and different things we're doing. And then I'm going to compare that to a goal. Right. And then on that goal, it's going to tell me like my monthly progress. Right. And this this sheet's not filled out yet, but this is just showing you what the sheet's going to look like. And so this is where Jason and I will be able to meet and say, OK, are we on track? Are we off track? Right. By us taking the time to go find the information, enter it into a spreadsheet and then have a discussion on it, we can now make adjustments going forward. OK, so you guys following me. I know this is a lot. Um, and then we have different departments within our business as well so like tin tin helps me with marketing tin helps me send out emails to agents she helps me send out emails to clients she posts on our instagram we're also measuring and setting goals for her right like hey tin i need you to send out four emails a month i need you to send out to my agents for eight four emails a month to clients and i need you to post four times a week on social media right so these are all being tracked and measured and then when i meet with tin on a weekly basis i can now give her a grade is she on track? Is she off track? And we can make adjustments, right? Um, the sales department, right? Jason's the one managing sales. So he's going to be tracking appointments set, met, signed, deals under contract, how many sales we close, how many we close for Zillow, because Zillow has a goal that we have to hit. And then how many one-on-ones? You know, Jason is doing one-on-ones with you guys, right? Who's done a one-on-one -on -one with Jason recently? Okay. So we have a goal for how many one-on-ones we got to do with each agent, right? And the only way we're going to know if Jason's doing his job is to track that, right? To see if Jason is on track or not. Um, so that's going to be being tracked by us as well. Um, then we got the whole lending side as well. We're tracking set, met, signed, approvals, loan submissions, loans funded, even recruiting. How many agents did Jason speak to? How many did he invite to our meetings? How many did he meet with? From those, how many started Hello Week? From those, how many onboarded onto our team? You guys following me here, right? And then how many current agents we have on our roster? All right, I'm going to stop right here. We have any questions so far? Okay. What's your observation? Give me some feedback so far of what you're noticing with this. The importance of having a goal and tracking is succinctly. Yeah. Yeah. The importance of having a goal and being able to track it. Anybody else? What stands out to you when we're going over this? Hmm? Clarity on what? Yeah. Yeah. Because only when you have clarity, only when you know if you're on track or not, is when you can decide, right? It's still a decision. You can decide if you want to change something so that you can be on track, right? I'm going to use Josh as an example. I know, Josh, you're running, you're doing some running stuff this month, right? How What was your goal for the running? 100 miles in the month, right? How many have you hit so far? Today's the last day, right? It is last day, yeah. So I got to do a second round, but I'm going to fall short. But I'm at 84.5. You're at 84.5, right? He's down to the 0.5, right? Have you been tracking it? What are you using to track it? Nike app, right? So I want to point that out, right? Because my boy is over here trying to run 100 miles in the month of October, which is a freaking awesome thing, right? He's going to end up at 84.5. You're going to run again today? Yeah. Okay. No, so, we have, we have so so what happens is right if the goal was a hundred and josh wasn't tracking but he's running a lot i know i'm running i'm fucking tired right my legs hurt <laughs> but how do you know if he's going to hit his goal the only way he knows he's going to hit his goal is if he has something to measure it with right so by him measuring it the chances of him hitting that goal or getting as close as possible to that goal because if he does 90 out of 100 what's the score 90 out of 100 90 percent in school what was that that's an a is that a good score 90 out of 100 yeah right depends on your standards some people are a plus students right but 90 out of 100 
if you're consistently getting 90 percent you're doing pretty decent right yeah but the only way you're gonna know if you're doing 90 percent is if you're measuring right so that's the whole point right so just like josh would track and measure his miles that he runs he set a goal he has a target he knows where he needs to be each week he probably divided that up by how many days right <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Three point three, right? So a lot easier than running hundred miles. Uh, no, hundred miles. Fifteen and a half. Okay. But look at Josh has a decision to make at this point. Yeah, because today's the last day. He has a decision to make. If he really wants to hit that goal of 100, he has to decide if he wants to run 15 and a half miles today, right? No, yeah, yeah, no. Or if he's like, hey, look, if I could just get to 90, I'm going to be satisfied. I got a 90%. That's pretty good. And now I'm going to make some adjustments on the next time I set this goal. Now he has the choice to do that, right? But if he didn't track and he didn't know where he was at, then he would have no clue on what needs to happen next, right? And that's the point I'm trying to drive home is Josh consistently hits his fitness goals. I know, I know he's serious about fitness because he really plans it and he really tracks it. And then that allows him to stick to it, right? No one's going to be perfect, just FYI. But can you get, well, but, but can you consistently be in the 90 percentile? If you're consistently in the 90 percentile, guys, you guys are going to crush it, right? Um, okay. Real quick, let, let me just add, you know what the good thing about, the day and age we're in now, we have all the tools that tracks it for you, right? With, with follow up boss. So you have the tools now. Now the next step, what, what I like about this guys is that before we're always like track your numbers, track your numbers. Well, now if you just use the technology, it tracks for you, right? Follow up boss tracks everything for you. So the next step is what Enrique is implementing right now is now that we have the information, now how are we, how are we gonna analyze and look at it, yeah. right? Absolutely. Right. Because we're tracking all this stuff on our end, guys, what Tin's doing, what I'm doing, what Jason's doing, what Andrea's doing. Right. There's certain tasks that she has to do. Um, there's certain things that we're trying to grow. Right. So we're looking at our income, our profit margins, all that stuff is going to be tracked. Our rocks for the quarter, even down to EXP. Right. Like we're building a downline and stuff like that. That's not only here at PRG. I'm tracking how many agents are under me at EXP. Right. And if I want if I have a goal of getting to a certain number. And that means I got to consistently attract X amount of agents per month, right? And how much revenue share I'm bringing in. So this is where like, if you really want to be the owner of your business, you got to have some accountability built in, right? And this is what we're allowing. At our last quarterly meeting, we asked who wants to be held accountable. And I would say 99% of you said, hold me accountable. I got some goals and I want to, there's only one, right? Maybe. And real, real quick, guys, and, and this, this right here, right? I mean, what I love about our team is that yeah, we can teach you to sell real estate. We can teach you to you know buyer presentation. This is this is like running a business, right? This is something you could implement. Not even in your business. You're gonna, I'm going to implement this in my house, my kids, yeah, right, my wife. And what I, what I want you guys to understand the takeaway for me is you know these things that Enrique is learning and that we're applying is something that we want to give back to you guys so you guys can enhance your business. Yeah, right? not just hey go sell more houses. Yeah, we're going to do that. But now let, let's, how do we level up? How do we level up? And these are the tools that these, these top producing teams and agents are using to get to that next level. And not just top producing teams and agents, these top producing business people yeah. just in the world, period, right? People running million dollar companies, stuff like that. And so those found those fundamental things that they use, those apply to our business as well, right? It isn't like, oh, only tech companies could do that. No, tech companies still have reporting, financials, goals, metrics, all these things that they track. How do we implement those in our business, right? On an agent level and on a company level. Okay, so what I did is I started off with our company scorecard that Jason and I are gonna be running. And then now I created a version for the agent level, right? It's super simple. And that's what I'm gonna show you. So it's this right here, right? Where we can now take the data that we have access to already and we can set our goals. And FYI guys, when we meet with Zillow, this is what Zillow does with us as oh, well. Absolutely. It's the same exact spreadsheet, right? I can show you, uh, I want to show you, right? Zillow is a multi-billion dollar company, right? And they generate hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue from their flex teams every month. And 
well, Enrique's pulling it up. Can you guys see how I'm on you, every agent saying, hey, track your numbers, set, man, you know, showing all that stuff. Again, guys, because I have to be held accountable to my rep, and I meet with them on a weekly basis. Yeah. I'm meeting with them, so he's looking at these numbers. So I'm like, dude, you guys got to back me up and track your numbers. Same thing, guys. This is our metrics, right? They track us on month by month, how many connections we got, um, and they're tracking different metrics, and then we meet every single week with them. And it's the same exact thing. We have to go meet with them and report our numbers. And then we have to have a discussion whether we're on track or we're off track, right? And then from there, if we're off track, that lights the fire under our butt to like go start doing the things that are gonna get us on track, right? And so it's the same exact concept, guys. Um, it's like, why have you guys do something different than I'm doing to run our business, right? Why not just teach you guys how to do what we're doing? Yeah. Um, so this is what we're looking at, guys. Um, Bob activity score. This is something where, like I said earlier, Mark can go in here and just say, hey, great, I made, I have 19,000 points, right? But if I don't have a goal for the week or for the month, how do I know if I'm on track or off track, right? And so what Mark would do is we would first set a goal, right, of how much he wants to hit each week and for the month for the total. And then now every single week he has to come in here and report. So only the fields in blue make this smaller is with the numbers that he has to enter and then it's going to give him a score so let's say his goal for that week was four thousand points in activities and mark got 4200 he get, he did 105 percent. he got a green right if mark only did three thousand he's at a 75 percent for that week he's in yellow if mark did less than 60 percent, it's red so if he did two thousand He's red. And then on that final week, maybe he like really kicked butt and said, hey, I got to catch up. He hit six, 16, uh, I'm sorry, 6,000. He got 150%. Now it's going to add up the total for the month. His goal was 16,000 for the month. He hit 15,200. He got a 95% for that month, right? And so by Mark being able to now take the data that follow-up boss is giving him and now punch it in where he has to do this exercise every week, when we meet on Tuesday, right, is when we're gonna implement this. Mark can now analyze and really see where he's at, what he needs to do, if it's working and if it's not working. Because the other way that we're doing it, where you guys just like talk to each other, there's none of this happening, right? Like yeah. there's no consequence or there's no like nothing in your face or you're not really having to look in a mirror and say, okay, am I on or am I off, right? Like Antonio and Adrian can talk and like they can just shoot the shit and hey, how was your week? And oh, yeah, hey, work harder, bro. Right. Like, and they could just do that. And then nothing, it's not real for him, right? You agree? Yeah, right. And, and again, just from watching that video, he said, you know, the guy presenting was saying that people hide from it. There's no hiding, guys. This is this is the great result of, of the day and age where we can track it. You, you, you don't, and, and now that we're implementing this, there's, there's, there's no hiding. You can see exactly you know, how your progress is and if you're on track to hit your goals. Remember your goals. Yeah. Right? And so everyone's everyone's goals and metrics are going to look different. But this is a way where you can now self hold yourself accountable on your own. Right. So appointment set is the next one that we're going to look at. Right. Maori, what's your weekly appointment set goal to hit your. Five. Right. OK. So Maori knows he has to hit five appointments set each week, which is 20 per month, because based off the averages, 20 appointments per month would give him two deals in contract, right? Because this goes two deals in contract. No, we this. no, this is something where this spreadsheet is going to belong to you now, right? We're going to, it's going to be shared with Jason and I, so that when we have one-on-ones with you, we can talk about real numbers and not just talk about feelings, right? How do you feel? How, you know, do you feel like you're working hard, right? No, true, guys. We can say, hey, like, I mean, we'll talk about how you feel, but then we'll talk about actually what happened, right? We'll do, we'll do both. But remember, accountability, accountability, guys, and, and holding ourselves to our goal, we got to take the feeling out of it, right? It's, it's something that's trackable, right? You can't feel like you hit your goal. It's either you hit your goal or you didn't hit your goal. Now, what are you going to do about it? And that choice is yours at the end of the day, which is the great thing. You all have a choice, right? But our job is to provide the tools and the environment where you know what's happening. And then you can say, hey, Jason, I didn't hit my goal, but I really want to hit my goal. What can I do? 
or hey jason i didn't hit my goal and i'm fine with it oh well right yeah. and okay we'll just keep doing what you're doing right? i don't know right it's a different conversation but when you're saying hey got hey when you're raising your hand saying hey i want to be held accountable um or you if you go hire a coach or you pay for coaching that's part of what you're paying for right that's that's the built-in investment of them showing you what's happening now maori's goal is five appointments a week right so in this example let's say this week he only hit four he's at 80 percent. this week he did six he crushed it this week he went on vacation he only did two right because he was only here monday this week he freaking came back and he did four solid but he only hit 16 out of 20 right he had an 80 percent for the month maori are you getting your two in contract based off of that probably not right because we know the numbers that we that we talked about right how many set met signed you got to hit so that means if maori wants to come around in december and make up for maybe the vacation he went on in november he knows what he has to do right he knows that the total needs to be 40 by the end of the by the end of december because now on this on this right hand column this is tracking your year to date total right here right so maori can now come in december and say hey man like I only hit an 80%. I'm not fine with that. I'm like, I'm going to double down. I'm getting six every single week, right? Bam. And now what happened to Maori's business right here by the end of December? 100%. Is Maori now, based off the averages, going to hit his two? His two per month? Yeah, right? Maybe one might roll into January. Maybe he might have three in January. But now Maori can make this decision of what he needs to do to stay on track, right? And so remember what I said earlier, guys, super simple, very powerful, right? Um, next thing is we're tracking our Mets, right? Five Met, how many do you got to meet with Maori every week? Three, right? So Maori's number is three. So once you set the goal, it all kind of adds it itself up. So setting it up is one part, and then all you got to do is enter the blue part every single week. So let's say this week Maori did two, then he did three, then he did four, then he did five. Bam, he actually did 14 met that week and his goal was 12. He's at 170%. He's on track. He's surpassing, right? Then we'll go appointment signed, right? And we're just going to break those numbers down, right? He meets with three. He's going to maybe sign, I don't know, one of them, right? And then now he comes in here and just tracks his number and he can see where he's at. So we want more greens. We want some yellow and we want very little red, right? Red is like, we got to get to work. If you have a bunch of greens and yellows, that means you're you're on your way. Um, the other thing that we're going to track, right, is the sign that we'll track under contract, right? So based off that, he wants two under contract every single month. That means each week he would basically have to get half of a deal. So let's say he got one in contract this week. Let's say nothing this week. Let's say he got nothing. And then at the last week of the month, he got one. He still hit his two got two in contract for the month he's at 100 percent um and then close right so many will close and then we'll run those numbers now what i also did here is i put three miscellaneous slots for anything you want to track right these are like the bare bones metrics of what i think you should track your activity score because activity score is going to lead to set met signed right it all tells a story and then down here let's say you're like hey i want to post on social media more right so i can go here and i can call this social media and let's say i want to post you know four times a, a week now i'm going to change this to four and then each week when i'm tracking my numbers now i can go in here and just plug in what i did okay this week i posted three times this week i went hard i posted six times this one i went four this one i only did two hey i still posted 15 times that week out of 16 which was my goal right Let's say right here, like you're doing something else, right? Like you want to track listing appointments or something. Then you can put listing appointments there. Like if you just want to track listing appointments. Let's say you want to incorporate your fitness goals, like go to the gym, right? I want to go to the gym four times that week. You can now put that there, right? And if you want to do more, you could just copy and paste these and, and carry these along. Okay. So this is groundbreaking right here, guys super simple you know what I, what I like guys is that you guys can set your own goal and then you get to you get to see you know where you're at and it's what i look at is more like self-accountability yeah right you guys have the control 
right? And then obviously you can meet with Enrique or myself, and then we can go ahead and help you. You know, if you're if you're struggling, we can see where you're struggling at, then we can help you in that area to help you grow your business. Absolutely. Um, so here's what we're gonna do right now, guys, to to finish this last part of the meeting. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share this file with you. Um, you're gonna make a copy of it. So I'm gonna go share. Share with others. I'm gonna go team PRG. It's gonna share with everyone. And then you're only gonna be a viewer. Make a copy and then share with Enrique and Jason. Now remember, part of what the guy said in the video at the beginning was that to create this accountability, this is where multiple people are involved, right? Because when you have to now report your numbers and someone else gets to see them, there's no hiding behind that, right? Because if I were to say, here, Antonio, go ahead, use this. How do I know if Antonio is even using it, right? How can I have a one-on-one -on -one with him if he's like, hey, like, this is, I'm not telling you, right? Like, I'm not telling you what I did. And so the whole point of us implementing this is going to be so there's some self-accountability, right? And then when we're meeting with you guys for your one-on-ones, we're going to be looking at this tracker with you, right? And on Tuesday. And every single Tuesday, when I say, hey, guys, track your numbers, right? Make sure your appointments are up to date. Make sure your outcomes are up to date. Well, what we're seeing is that a lot of people aren't updating their outcomes. They're setting the appointment in, in follow-up boss but then they're not going back and updating, did I meet with them or did I not meet with them? So if you have to now track here, if you met with them or not, what's gonna happen to the outcomes? You're gonna have to go in there and fill out the outcomes, right? And why are you gonna have to fill out the outcomes? Because you need to know how many you met with so that you can put it on the tracker, right? So you see how like by us, if we all buy into this, we're like, hey, every week when I come to the meeting, we're gonna spend the first 10 minutes of this of the meeting, maybe five minutes, it shouldn't take that long, because we're only looking at the past week, right? Um, the first five minutes, hey, come and update your tracker, right? And then what Jason and I get to do is we get to check if you updated it or not, right? Yeah. And on top of that, guys, you have to understand, we meet on Wednesday, right, Enrique and I, so I need you guys, in order for me to get do my homework, to do my job, to do my reporting, you guys put in that information. Yeah, so what Jason's gonna do is he needs to know how many you met with because Jason's number that he has to be held accountable to, just FYI, is how many appointments were set and how many were met. So how does Jason get that number? And you can see, uh, real quick, what Enrique is doing, guys, you see next to my, where it says number of appointments met or set, he, he's, he's having, he's showing where I gotta pull that information from. Right, it's follow boss. So I got to go into follow boss, but the only way follow boss is accurate is if my agents put the correct information in there. They they complete the outcome. Yeah. So what's going to happen, guys? Just to show you, like how it all connects, right? You see how, like, if this is a game where we, if we all play the game, then we all can help each other win, right? Because he's responsible for certain things, which you guys are responsible for filling out the information so that he can get it and then he can report it back to me. And then it's just the circle, right? And even Enrique, Enrique is responsible. What right? he's responsible, right? He can go back to what your what your role is. So his role is to go in and make sure that we have enough leads coming in. And then even on the bottom where it says number of recruiting leads, he's also held accountable to how many opportunities I get to speak with new agents. Yeah. Right? So it all works together, guys. Yeah, because it's just a math equation, right? Like X amount of leads come in, X amount of appointments get set, and so. If I'm like, hey, we need to bring in more leads and I got to start looking at our different lead channels and seeing how we can bring more leads in so that it flows down the sales process. Right. Um, and so it all keeps everybody accountable. And then Jason, what he's going to do is he's going to come into the reporting. He's going to look at appointments. Right. When Jason's filling this out, him and I are going to meet every Wednesday. You guys are entering it every Tuesday. So on Tuesday, Jason's going to be spending time looking through all the appointments, making sure they were all tagged appropriately if they're not then he has to reach out to you and say hey rob you said you were meeting with john smith i don't see an outcome did you actually meet with him right because i need to count that on my spreadsheet because i got to meet with enrique tomorrow and go over these numbers right and so it's it just it all it, it's and domino and effect and what i want him enrique to do for you guys real quick 30 seconds i want to make sure you guys understand where to pull your numbers from right because 
great because that, that's good. So if I was Antonio and I want to see my numbers, what do I do? Enrique? Okay, so if I'm Antonio, right, just like I was using Mark here, is the first thing I'm looking at is where are we at agent scorecard. Okay, so I want to look at my FUB activity score. So let's say I'm tracking right here this column C for this week, right? So my activity score. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to reporting. I'm going to go to agent activity. I'm sorry, reporting and then agent leaderboard. And then I can see last week, based off my calls and everything, I scored 6,052 points, right? So now I can go to my scorecard. And I can say 6,052. I know this question is going to be asked, guys. So please, the reason why I want you guys to see this is because with agents that haven't seen it, you can help me explain it to them. Yeah. Right? So let's say, uh, let's say for the month of November, right? 6,052 is that first week right? Because it's coming up already, right? We're going to start this in November. Um, now I got to go track my appointments set, right? So what I can do now is I go back to FUB and I go to appointments and then I'm looking at appointments this past week. And then I can look through here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I set eight appointments this past week. And then out of those eight, Mark, good job on filling out your outcomes, right? Because all his outcomes are filled out. Now we're going to be updating these outcomes, guys. Instead of still walking opportunity, we're going to put met. We have to know if you met them or not, right? So uh, no show rescheduled, met, still working on them, met, signed, or met, they don't qualify, right? This way we know when you change it, you actually met with them. And that's how we'll be able to get the met score. Uh, so we don't have to do canned responses or anything that, like that anymore. All you got to do is just update this, right? So now Mark, let's say Mark met with all eight. They would say Matt still working. Maybe he didn't sign any of them, but now Mark can come in here and say, okay, uh, my goal was five appointments. I set eight and then my met, I actually met with all eight of them. You see? And then now Mark. Now, when we're looking at signed, right? Mark signed zero that week because none of them said signed. So do you see now, now when I meet with Mark for a one-on-one, -on -one, I can say, damn, Mark, you kicked ass on the activity. You set a bunch of appointments. You met with all of them, but you signed zero. So you met with eight people and signed zero. What's going on? How do we fix this, right? And that's where now we can coach Mark and dissect. Oh, actually, I did sign two of them. I just didn't update it. Okay, well, then put two. You got to get credit for your work. Okay, what happened with the other six, right? And now we can have that conversation on what do we got to do to get them to sign, right? And then let's say Mark, now that week got one in contract. Okay, we'll keep that out of one. You didn't close anything that week, but it's set to close later on in the month, right? And then whatever Mark wants to track right here on miscellaneous, then he could track. Okay, you guys follow me on how we're going to collect that data? Numbers? All right. These right here are going to be customizable, right? These three. All right. Are there any questions on this before we now spend the last 10 minutes basically having you guys pull this up? Um, what I want to do is I want to make sure everyone makes a copy, right? So it should have already went out to your email. So make a copy and then go to share on the top right. Um, yeah, right here. This one right here. Uh, why am I not sharing? Oh, it's because it's already shared. I don't know. So file, share, share with others. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to put Jason and then you're going to put Enrique. So first make a copy. And when you share it with me, I'll get an email alert. So I'll be able to know if you shared it with me right now, right? So we can check everyone's work. Okay, so let's start. We're going to pause right there, guys, just to give everybody a minute. Should have gotten an email, open up the document, make a copy, go file, make a copy. And then once you make your copy, share. Share. Add me. And add me, please. Add me and Jason. Uh, this is uh, 
Now, the other thing you want to do is you want to click on the title and you want to put your name on the title next to PRG agent scorecard. Okay, you still follow me alone, right? Follow me alone. Yeah, because because uh, what's going to happen is it's going to say copy. So whenever you make a copy of this, guys, it's going to say copy up here on the new one. So instead of it saying copy in the parentheses, put your name right there. Right. So let me show you guys just so you guys see. So when I go to file and I go make a copy, yep. you see how now it says copy. So I'm going to erase copy and I'm going to put Enrique, right? My name. Copy of, I'll erase copy of. I could just put Enrique dash PRG agent scorecard. Put your first and last name, guys. And now when I make the copy, now it'll be titled my name dash PRG agent scorecard. And I like this, guys, because it makes our 101 more efficient, right? We can get out in 15 minutes. I know Rob, I can take two hours this week, but this should only be 15 minutes, Rob. Okay. 15 minutes, in and out, like a robbery. That's five minutes. Okay. You like, you like this stuff? I just, love it, huh? <laughs> you guys like this? What do you guys think? I, I think it's pretty cool. And you, I mean, because it really shows you, you know, where your activities are at if you're hitting your goals. It's straightforward. Well, here's the thing, guys, is some of you guys aren't going to like this, and that's okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just call it what it is, right? Some people do not like being held accountable. But what we do know is that when you are held accountable, you're going to perform better, right? That's just the bottom line. And that's the way life works, right? When I know... I have to show up to a meeting because someone's relying on me to be there, then I'm going to now take the time to prepare for that meeting and show up as my best self, right? When I know my numbers are going to be looked at, then there's no hiding, right? Now, is everyone going to score the best score every week? No, that's life, right? Like things get in the way, things happen. But the whole point is by you playing this game, you're going to be more likely to do better than you were by not playing the game, right? And so that's where the accountability is going to help you. Now, when Jason and I have to meet every single week and look at our numbers, that is us holding up our scorecard to our face, right? There is no dancing around that. There is no, I didn't feel good, Jason. There is no, uh, hey, the market is doing this, right? Like there's none of that, right? It's only did it happen or did it not happen? That's the data. And then from there is what are you going to do about it now, right? Well, hey, maybe I don't want to hit my goal. Maybe this goal is too high. Okay, well, then maybe we need to readjust your goals. Maybe you're trying to do 10 deals a month, and that's just not realistic when you only come in two days a week, right? we got to readjust, right? Or maybe like, hey, you, we got to change some things with your schedule because there's weeks when you were on track, but then there's weeks when you're not. So what's, what's going on, right? Now you're forced to make a decision. And what I know is that uh, when people's backs are up against the wall, a lot of people tend to step it up, right? Yep. That's why people procrastinate so much, right? It's just human nature, right? I'm going to wait to the last minute because then at the last minute, I'll get it all done, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now what I get to do is I get to hold you guys accountable right now and see who actually did share their document with me, all right? So I get to pull my email up. Josh, great job, Josh. Shelly, great job. Uh, Josh, you got to change the name of your card if you haven't already. Make sure you put your name at the top of the title of it. I think my computer. Yeah, this is how to sell real estate. <laughs> so magic, guys. This is just doing a lot of boring things over and over and over consistently, right? Like if if some of you guys haven't realized that, that's that's what sales is, right? It's doing the same thing over and over every day, all day, even when you don't feel like it. Josh, you ran you ran almost ninety miles so far. Right, which is freaking awesome, bro. I do want to 
give you your props. Did you feel like running every single day? <laughs> How many days did you actually feel like running? All right. <laughs> okay. But you made a commitment and you did it anyway, right? Antonio, got Antonio's, I got Debs, I got Josh. Uh, Rob, show Josh how to update his name on there. Got Shelly's, I got Mize, I got Rob's. Mark, uh, update your name on yours as well. Okay, maybe it has to refresh. Um, Adrian, okay, I see your name. Patrick, okay, who did I not call? Mauricio, where's yours? Did you share it with us? Yeah, yeah. I don't see Mauricio's. That's weird. I'm gonna get an alert. Okay, it's with my PRG email, Enrique at Real Estate PRG. I think my computer's about to die. It's probably like, I just plugged it in. It's slowing right now. All right, whose name did I not call? Yeah, have I got yours? Mani, I got yours. I know I got yours too. Shelly, Patrick. All right, I think we got everybody. Look at this. 100%, guys. We can put 100%. Whoa, a screen, right? All right, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. If you guys have a couple minutes, Amia, I got Amia. He's not. He's on watching on Zoom. Yeah. Got his. Jay Nasty. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> the only one I don't see is Maori. Dirty J and the boys. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put uh, uh, Josh. Change yours to eighty-four point five. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of miles, bro. I, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Okay. So here's what I want you guys to do. Now that you got your sheets, open your sheets. Share it with me. Here we go. There's more water back there, brother. All right, Maudi, I see yours, bro. It came through. For some reason, I didn't get the alert. Okay, guys, let's take two minutes right now, right? Follow me. Follow me real quick, guys. Let's take two minutes to just update our stuff, right? So the first thing you want to do is your activity goal right here. It's already on 4,000, guys. So if you want to change that, you can. 4,000, I would say it's probably the minimum you should shoot for. Um, we got people doing 6,000, 8,000 in a week, right, on activities. But I would say 4,000 is a good push for most people. 4,000, okay, that's the number that shows up on the reports. That's the number that shows up on your activity, right? So it's based off appointments, it's based off calls, it's based off texts, right? Okay, yeah. Um. Four thousand. Like if you're trying to consistently book multiple appointments per week, guys, four thousand is is right. Now remember, every appointment you book counts as five hundred. The calls that you make, right? So you got to do stuff through FUB so that you get credit for it. Um, but four thousand is a good one. So remember, you're updating your sheet, right? Not mine. Um, all these, the blues is basically all zeros for now because we haven't started yet. But if you first put four thousand on each of these. The 16,000 will add up on its own, so don't touch the 16,000. Um, Amia, let me make sure you can see my screen. Sorry, buddy. All right. And then these will be all zeros right here, right? Because we haven't entered. This will start November 1st. Um, appointment set goal. You guys, we all did this exercise before, right? How many appointments do we got to set each week? Um, remember if you're trying to get one deal in contract, that's 10 appointments, right? 
10 equals one. So if you want one deal in contract a month, it would be 10 appointments a month. And then you divide that up by four, four weeks, right? And so if you want one deal in, and you're going to round up, right? It don't do a half appointment, right? I would round it up. So for example, if your goal is one deal a month, that's 10 appointments divided by four, you should be putting two and a half, but I'll round that up to three. So I'd put three here, three here, three here, three here. That's 12. And then three here, three here, three here, three here. Yeah. Now, if your goal is two deals in contract a month, then I would change this to a five. Five, 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 five. And then all the blue entries are zero. So when we do this, Enrique, because we're gonna, we're, it's going to start Tuesday. I mean, it's going to start. Yeah, I just want to make sure we know how it looks on Tuesday. We're going to last week, mm -hmm. which is part of October. Yeah. So we'll make some we're going to have to figure out how we're going to. Yeah. We want to start it just on the <laughs> first. Yeah. On the week of the the first Monday, you know, Monday through Sunday, or if we're doing appointments met, right? So you're going to meet with about 60% of the appointments you set. So if you set three appointments times 0.6, you're meeting with two people. We'll round that up to two. Sorry. Two, 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 two. Okay, if anybody's having trouble, maybe go around and see. So, yeah, that's what he put in the 4,000. Yeah. But again, leave that blank, though. We're, cause we're not tracking yet. Yeah, but just so you know, yeah. Yeah. No, so right now I just want you guys to set up the goals, right? Yeah, so the goals that you're setting up are going to be the ones here, right? In the gray. So the gray is all the goals that we're setting up. So that's the way you're, all you're touching right now is the gray, guys. Yeah. We're going to start tracking. So right now, yeah, just the goals, everything in gray. Just for the first week of goals. Just for all weeks. Yeah, so. Four thousand. If if four thousand is your score, if you're going for more, then put put more, right? Whatever your score is. But I was I'm just giving you a suggestion that four thousand is a minimum. Then you change all those four thousand. The totals will add up on their own, guys. There's already a formula for the totals to add up. So all you got to do is put the, what the weekly goal is. And now, um, what are you setting? So they, if they wanted to mirror what you're doing, Enrique, what are you setting up here? For? This is for someone who wants to get one deal in contract a month, right? If you want to get two deals in contract a month. Then I'm gonna be five here, five, 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 right? So to make it simple for you guys, I'm gonna meet with three. Well, he's setting one up right now to show you guys what it looks like if you want to get two deals in contract per month. That's what he's. That's what he's. Yeah, doing. and I'm gonna sign one a week, right? So it's going to all look red to start off with, guys, because we haven't tracked anything yet. My under contract goal, if I'm trying to get 200 contract, then it'd be half per week, right? Because a half times four is two. Yeah, because one week you'll get one, the next week you may get zero. Yeah. You know? So if your goal is two, just copy what Enriquez looks like. that the same and you're using the number of 80 percent of the set appointments right Enrique? 80 percent of the set equals your bet no 60 percent 60 percent yeah whatever you set you're meeting with 60 percent of them and we don't touch the, the uh, miscellaneous the miscellaneous is other things that you want to track right so that's where it's up to you if you want to track something else um, I think like if you're trying to post on social media, social media to build your SOI, 
right? I would post, I would put that as one. Or even if you're just tracking like how many times you reach out to people, or let's say you're trying to focus on, you know, buyers or listings and you want to track like, okay, how many listing appointments did I go on specifically? That's something you could track. If fitness is part of your goal and you know that that helps you show up better in the office, you could even track fitness, like workouts per week, right? So I can say like, hey, I want to work out or show up to the office. Maybe some of you guys just want to show up to the office more. Check that too. Hey, I want to get five workouts in per week. All right. So miscellaneous is totally up to you guys to create those. Does anybody need help setting theirs up? Maudie, yours is all good? Under contract, I put a half. So that equals two. For a close for close, I put a half as well, closing to a month. And then any of your miscellaneous goals, you want to add those on. And then we're going to start this on Tuesday. Yeah. This week, that's going on right now. Yeah. Now, what we can do is like right now it says November and December. We can even just say like, yeah, week, just go week one, week two, week three, week four, and then five, six, right? However many weeks there are left. If we want to just keep it like easier for the rest of this year. Because November 1st doesn't necessarily line up on like Monday to Sunday. It starts on Friday. Yeah, right. And so we can adjust that. I didn't think about that part. That might make it easier, though, since we all meet every week on Tuesday to track past week, right? Yeah. Just keep it safe. Track from Monday to Sunday. Yeah. And so if you guys follow me, um, to keep it easier to track so that it lines up with our meeting schedule and our calendars, we'll just leave this as week one, two, three, and four, and then we could change this one to week five, week six, week seven, week eight. So it doesn't necessarily, so it lines up with the remaining weeks of the year, right? But the good thing, guys, it's 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 important that you guys go in here. And you guys know how to play around with this, right? Because the more that you know how to play around with it, now you guys are learning how to create these habits of how to set your own goals, right? Like this right here is a tool. This right here is a is a it's a system, right? But now this system, like if you want to make this system better, or you want to take it, like if you're like, hey, I really like this. I want to now track like ten different things, right? Like I want to track how much money I have in the bank, right? Or how much money I'm saving. Hey, I want to track how many date nights I go on with my lady, right? I want to track how many workouts. I want to track how many times I go to church, right? Whatever that might be for you, right? You see how it's a system now. It's a system that you can use to hit your goals, right? Huh? Um, for under contract, I just changed it to halves because if you're trying to get two in contract for the month, they're not all going to fall per week, right? That would be half a contract per week, right? A half times four is basically is two. And here's the other hack, guys. Like, um, to make this really effective, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to bookmark this page, right? as your score as I would favorite it right so if you go to star right here when you go to star now when you go into your Google Drive now it appears under your starred right your starred list 
So like I have all these documents right here that I have starred because these are documents that I use over and over to manage our business. Because a, a lot of times like, oh, I forgot where I put, where's that sheet? I got to go find it in Google Drive and search for it, right? You can just search scorecard and it'll pop up. But if you star it, that's one thing. And then the second step is to now take this scorecard and bookmark it right here on the top right as one of your tabs so what i would do is i would bookmark it and i would just call it agent scorecard or mauricio's agent scorecard or whatever and i'll put done and then now in my list of bookmarks i can now grab it right here and i can move it up right here so now it appears on this tab right here this is another hack right here right so if you guys see my tabs these are the tabs that i use often and i don't want to have to go find them or punch this url in again i just create shortcuts so i use slack every day i use gmail sbs is where we track our financials for our business i use google drive i use sisu i have another spreadsheet where i analyze the business i have a to-do list i have this impact tracker where we're tracking our investment portfolio i have a flex one right because we have to meet with our flex guy i have follow-up boss now I have my scorecard. Now I'm gonna have white local stars. So now when I wanna go back to this, let's say I'm just open up a new window, I can just click scorecard, bam, pops it right up. I don't have to go search for it. I don't have to go search in Google Drive, anything like that, it lives right here. And the next step guys, is that if you really wanna take this serious, what you're gonna do is every time you open your laptop, this thing is open. The ones that are consistently open right now, guys, look at my to-do list. This is my to-do list that I use every single day. I have certain things that I got to knock out, right, that I'm working on. Follow up with this client, right? Run numbers for this. And then this scorecard, like you got to now obsess over your metrics, right? If you obsess over your metrics as if you're running a multi-million dollar company and you want to know what your company is doing at all times, you will have your metrics up in front of you at all times, right? Because now when you come in and you look at this before you start the day, reality check, last week was a shitty week. This week I gotta step it up, right? Or last week was a great week. I just need to keep that momentum going, right? Mm -hmm. But if you never look at this, guys, this whole training went to shit, so to say. <laughs> like it, it was a waste of training. It was a great idea, Enrique. It was a cool video you showed us from Dan Martel, who's a multimillionaire, right? And runs, you know, he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars but i'm not using the tool right um and what i like about it though guys is we have like we already have we've built out follow-up box so now you just again there's layers to it right we have the follow box you guys do the activities of follow box pull that information drop it in so yeah it's that simple yep right and so um to close out guys like this simple like i said simple right this is a simple spreadsheet guys it took me maybe an hour to put all this together and like make all the formulas work. But if you guys, each and every one of you guys buy into this, right, of the simple tracker, by just being able to have self accountability, then you use Jason and I to back you up on holding you accountable to your goals, right? You know, that's where the partnership comes in. That's where the leadership comes in to help you and help you identify certain areas that we want to improve. But without this guys, you're like, there's, if you don't know what your business is doing, like you said, clarity earlier, how do you know if you're doing good or bad, right? um because the days go by like this and the weeks go by like this and then next thing you know you either hit your goals or you didn't hit your goals right but we want to have clarity we want to know what's happening and we want to be able to make business decisions based off of data not based off of how we're feeling right now right um any questions guys before we wrap up all right so we're going to keep talking about this every tuesday because right what i know what i've learned is that we roll something out in order for this to actually stick we got to talk about it every tuesday every tuesday every tuesday we got to implement it we got to hold each other accountable some people aren't going to do it right but if i keep talking about it enough and i keep saying hey um, where's your numbers i don't see your numbers right yeah. eventually people jump on and then eventually it just becomes part of the culture and eventually like you're showing the other guy how to do it right and it just becomes part of the language that we speak and that's how we you know, start shifting our culture to a culture of productivity, right? And when everybody's winning, how do we feel? Great, <laughs> right? 
So buy into it, guys. I promise you this will help you take your business to the next level. Let's give it up, guys. Thank you. Thank you.